Hello, 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 chaps. It's um, turn 117 of Pitboss 70, and really I'm just up uploading these videos uh, to be part of the um, part of the report thread on the Realms Beyond forum. They're not really a standalone series um, when I record them this sparsely for YouTube. Uh, so, so let's actually describe the. So I really like this this map layout where it's a uh, it's just one long piece of land. That's really interesting and and cool. Um, and there's a lot of symmetry, pretty similar starts. Uh, anyway, so brief history of the game. I settled aggressively. Well, I think my first city was this one, and I and then I built the second one here, and the third one may have even been Gao. So I settled very aggressively towards uh, Cheru over here, um, and that's just because. Settled the cities down here, so the workers were down here. So that meant the next city also had to be down there. Um, but this city and this city were kind of just me putting up the middle finger to him. I mean, it's turn 117 and there's still only seven population with no libraries. They're not really amazing spots. Especially not this one, where there's literally no resources. It's just some river grassland. Uh, anyway, so Cheru got totally screwed over by me. Um, and a little bit probably by MGMD as well, who is the leader in lots of cities, so he's not having a great time. Uh, on Scooter's side, I, you know, despite settling so heavily towards Cheru, I had a bunch of skirms up here when it was still contested, and we sort of made a deal where uh, overall he's he's definitely settling more in my direction than I am in his. I mean, look at this: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is nine. Did I count that correctly? I don't think I did. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, it's nine. It's nine tiles away from his capital, while it's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's only seven away from mine. So, actually, that makes it seem not so unreasonable because uh, the crop, the, this grain, if it was here, then it would be equidistant. Um, but he also got this nice spot, which I think is a bit closer to me than him. Maybe not. Maybe I actually got a good settle uh, border on both ends. Um, the situation is a little bit complicated by the islands. I think I mostly missed out on the islands. Like, I got I got this island that's right next to me, and this island that, that's right next to me. Um, but apparently there are... There's this. Whatever this is, like... So this is two tiles out from here. Uh, okay, so it's one, two, three, four tiles south of this island. So... Yeah, so there's one up here. You know, again, and this is just a black box to me. And here it is on this side as well. And I just didn't, I just didn't, I just didn't. So I guess I lost out very slightly there. Um, now Cheru might actually be the tech leader. That's what MJMD told me, because this is a Diplo game. Um, and of course, he's going to want to invade me, especially Gao, because this is a nice town that's really close to him, or it's fairly close. So I got a bit paranoid about him. I think we're both espionaging each other. Um, scooter relations are a bit, uh, much uh, happier, but uh, he's got two canoes, so that's a really nasty unit. Um, now I do have protective skirmishers, so I wonder if, uh, given that two canoes cost more than twice as many hammers, I wonder if you could actually. Um, and I have charismatic, so I can whip it a fair bit too. I wonder if you could actually just use cover skirmishers against the two canoes. I think that would be very interesting. Unless he has vas vassalage, and he can just. <laughs> I, is that totally daft? Like catapult cover skirmishes? I might just do that. I might just do skirm catapult as my entire army, um, just to be cheapskate. And Mali is a. I really like Mali's design. A lot of the civs don't really feel like they have a particular identity, but with Mali, the obvious use of the skirmisher, you can you can annoy people with it, but it's really just to secure a big expansion. Um, and then then what do you want? Well, it would be really nice to get extra gold from your forges. So that's what you get. Because you, you've expanded a lot, so you're high on maintenance. And so you're only up here. Anyway, so I should describe more of the game's history. Um, I was on negative income for ages. And then for another 20 turns or so, I was on like 27 net income, half of that being scientist specialists. Now, fortunately, that included a, a, a great scientist. So I ran a golden age, which got my income up to 100. 
And now that the Golden Age has ended, I've got currency thanks to 375 gold or something loaned from MGMD. And um, so now I have that amount of income without the Golden Age, which is uh, very nice indeed. So I'm just going to get meditation since half of... I haven't put any research into this, it's just the other people know it bonus. So I'm just going to get that as kind of stat padding. Um, so that it's a way to build up gold, I guess. Or maybe I should go straight for construction, but I think I'll just go for meditation first. It might be nice to... Yeah, I only have one city with a religion in it, which is this one. So I might rush the library, rush the monastery, build, uh, build the Jews. Spread Jews everywhere. Hmm. Um, I should probably... The thing is, I don't want to hurry the lighthouse because... Oh, okay, it's it's under the threshold. So I can actually hurry it now. I didn't want to kill the, the, the gold miners. The gem miners, I should say. Um, and the last the last town to be built in my area is going to be a filler here. I was going to build it here, but then I realized this, is, this spot is just better because... Uh, it still it still works this tile and this tile, and it still works all of these tiles, but it gets uh, it gets these six out here, so it's a bit of a greedy filler. But I might as well do it. Sixteen cities. I mean that'll just put me at average. Once I have sixteen cities, then uh, really everyone has a similar amount of city count except for Cheru, and I think he's going to attack me with knights. Honestly, I, I think he will. Um, I, I don't know. I feel like he has to attack someone and. Maybe you could do a thing where MJ's, MJ, M, MJMD is the leader, so you talk to Superdeath, who is MJMD's other uh, neighbor, and you say, hey, MJMD, Superdeath, we have to attack MJMD because otherwise he'll win the game because uh, he's got such an advantage. So that would make sense, but it would be still really difficult, and maybe I'd backstab because I care more about making myself stronger than avoiding making MJMD uh, stronger. Maybe I wouldn't. Um, maybe the agreement would be, hey, Superdeath, you fight MJMD with me, and Scooter, please, please don't backstab me. And instead, you back, you attack uh, Bing. Especially if he attacks me, so that we can kill Superdeath off. Because uh, from Sco Scooter's pers perspective, like, uh, if he attacks Superdeath, then he's just being a useful idiot for MJMD. I'm assuming that MJMD is really, really far ahead. I mean, he has, he is, he's got a big score lead, he's got the most cities, and he built the Hanging Garden, so he, considering how much he expanded, uh, he then got a huge pop boost, uh, so he's probably not behind in tech, as you would hope from the guy with the most cities. So, he probably is this kind of big threat. So, so if Scooter doesn't want to attack Superdeath, because Superdeath is a neighbor of MJMD, then I'm really the only guy apart from him, who is not a, a neighbor of MJMD. And he does have the nice Chukanus, fresh off the presses. They're kind of countered by scams a bit, in my opinion. Although I, I'll probably, I mean, I say that, but I'll probably, I'll probably, maybe I should get machinery before construction and just make a mixture of scams and crossbows. Or maybe pure scam really is the way to go. The problem with that is you can't really build it up ahead of time because then you're paying maintenance. Um, anyway, let's let's press the button and watch the numbers go up. Okay, that was a bit disappointing. It only out, went up by 20. Whatever. I thought I had more in the bank <laughs> that was going to happen there. Where's this settler? The settler's there. Okay, well, that's, that's, uh, that's all... I just, this is just for the Realms Beyond forum, really. Oh, but I'll p publish it publicly on YouTube, because why the hell not? Ah.